As I've mentioned, in FileMaker there are multiple ways to do most things, so it probably won't surprise you if I say that calculations are no exception. For example, I've shown you a way to set up a calculation that brings together the text from several fields to make a single text string, with only one space added between each name. Interestingly, the challenge of including an extra space when there's a middle name value, and no space when the middle name field is empty, is a logical problem. You can define the problem and the solution logically. The universe is full of logical problems, and the probability that some of them, like the problem with middle names and spaces, will end up in your databases is high. So you need straightforward tools to sort out the logic and produce the right answers. FileMaker provides a set of calculation tools that will be your stock in trade for applying logic in calculations. They're the set of calculation functions that are assigned to a group called logical functions. And FileMaker 12 has 18 of them. There are functions here to serve a wide range of requirements. Some of them you'll want to use often, while there are others you may use less frequently. But there are certainly a couple that you're likely to reach for regularly particularly the case and if functions. The if function is what might be called a logical switch. It returns a value if the switch is on, and it either returns nothing or returns a different value if the switch is off. So it represents a codified decision, and as such, it's the most basic building block for the creation of a logical framework. Let's look at the way a calculation expression that uses the if function is formed. As you can see, when I select the function from the list by double-clicking on it, it's inserted into the calculation dialog with hints about the syntax that's required. The if function is followed by an opening parenthesis, then there's a test, a first result, and a second result. The test is what determines if the switch is on or off, and the two results are what will be returned in either case. Result 1, if the switch, or test, returns a positive or true result, and result 2, if the test comes up negative. If I put in some values, it'll make it a bit easier to see what I mean. Let's say I type, if 22 is greater than 21, yes, no. Now we have a situation where when the test is evaluated, the answer will be a positive, that is 22 is greater than 21 so the result yes will be returned. If I change the formula so that it says 21 is greater than 22, then the test will produce a negative result, and result 2, no, will be returned. It's also useful to know that the result if false, result 2, can be silent. So if you end the calculation with the closing parenthesis immediately after result 1, when the test turns up negative, nothing will be returned. So now let's see how we could incorporate this approach to solve a simple logical problem such as the one involving middle names and spaces. To do that, I'm going to make a new formula in this calculation field and solve the problem in a new way using logical functions. As before, I'll start by adding a reference to the first name field and then the append operator, the ampersand. Now I'm going to type the if function and the opening parenthesis. And next I'm going to choose a logical function is empty, which is a way of determining whether a field holds a value or not. I'll type it in here. Is empty, and in this case the field we want to check is the middle name field. So there's a test, if is empty middle name. And now of course I can put in a result if true and a result if false. However in this case I only need a result if the middle name field is not empty. So I'm going to reverse the test by using the NOT operator. Now I need to put in the string that will be the result if the middle name field is not empty. I want a space before the middle name, so that's a text literal. Another ampersand, and the middle name field itself. And now I have a string space and middle name as my result 1. I don't need a result 2 because if the middle name field is empty, then no result is fine. And then I need a space preceding the last name. As with the author full name calculation, I need the calculation result in this case to be text. So now I have a new calculation called CNewCalc, which has a different formula, but essentially the same logic. That is, it's designed to produce the same result. Let's take a look. 
In layout mode, alongside the author full name field, I'll add the new calc field. Now back in browse mode, as you can see, we have the same result in both calculation fields for every record in the authors table. These two different calculation formulae both work well and give the required result, so they're both perfectly appropriate. That's not to say that all calculations are equal, even if they give the right result. As you get into writing some calculations of your own, you may start to see that some approaches are more long-winded, harder to understand and maintain, or slower to compute, any of which can be an issue as your databases grow. But for relatively straightforward calculations, such as the examples I've shown here, a variety of coding methods would be acceptable.